Hi, Best Buds. It's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I love making everything that has to do with junk journals. If this is something you enjoy too, please subscribe. Okay, guys, I worked a little bit on these envelopes this morning. And I coffee dyed them. And then I put a little ink. Uh, I put a little of this milled lavender on it. And I then inked around the edges and I glued some doilies on it. This one I glued on the flap so it's going to be like this. This one I glued on the top so when you fold it the front's like this and the back side is like this. And on this one I glued it just on the total back side like this. So now we're ready to decorate the rest of it. And what I'd like to do is I would like to put this sheet inside the envelope. So I am going to roughly measure this right here. We're going to cut here and we're going to cut just a little on the inside of this. So, so that's going to be, I'm just measuring right here, it's about five inches across. So I'm going to get my cutter. I put a new blade in it not too long ago. I'm hoping it's going to work just fine for me. Now, I don't recall where this paper came from. So I will look that up and put it in my description down below the video. Well, I did put a new blade in it, but it's kind of acting up, but we're going to make it work anyway. So, let's see here, about five. Yes, it's all lined up. Here we go. There, that's nice. Now, we're going to see, where the envelope go? We're going to see about putting this inside up here like that and then probably going to get my pencil go probably going to have to fussy cut it just a little bit or we could scallop it either way we're going to have to cut this so I'm just lightly drawing around there and then I'm going to turn it here and I'm going to mark this like that. So I'll take my ink and I'm just going to lightly make this a little darker than just the bright white because that's going to show through where the doily has its holes. It's going to show through a little bit. And I don't want it to be stark white. So, and you all know about my 500 subscriber giveaway. When I reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to be having a little giveaway and making a really cute little journal. And I would love to give a shout out to Michelle, Lori, Sybil, Janice, and Mackenzie. I appreciate each and every one of you. So I'm just going to loosely cut this out. That's not too much of a glare on, on that. Is there? You see that all right? Just loosely cut it out. Just... There we go. Now, that should slip right down inside of here. Just like this. So when we close it, it'll be like that. Isn't that cute, you guys? That's really, really pretty, right? All right, so let's glue this down. Um, I 
guess I'll use glue stick. But I can stick it down inside after I get it glued up. I'm not going to glue it all the way down to the bottom. I'm afraid I wouldn't get it into the um, envelope if I did. There. Now, hopefully we can get that down inside. Pull it out just a little bit. Yes. Now, see if we can get this glue stick to stick onto this doily. I might have to use some white glue. Well, maybe not. It may be working. It's not really wanting to stick very well onto the doily, and then we're just going to crease it. Oh my goodness, you guys, it looks so cute. So pretty, right? Alrighty, so now let's see, what's my other Thing that I'd like to do. This was five. That was five. That's how wide that envelope is. So let's go ahead and cut us another piece that's five. And I am um, coffee dyed this, and then I sprayed it with um, liquid ink. I sprayed it. On a very nice sunny day one day this summer so I'm going to need to cut this down just a little bit because I don't want I want this to go down in here like turn it over Kathy. all the way down to the bottom there we go, so on the bottom. Now let's trace. There. Take it out, and we're going to cut this out. Just checking. Okay. Oops. There we go. I'm going to turn it over. And we're going to glue this right on here. Like that. So, do I want to use glue stick? I guess I'll use a glue stick. I'm not real... Sometimes I just don't think they stick the way other glues do does do other glues do other glue yeah I guess that's how you say that get this on here okay line it up got to line it up it's a little far down on this side. I guess the one good thing about glue stick is it does let you rearrange it a little bit better than some other glues. I see the problem. You know what? I think that shouldn't have turned it upside down. I think that side was for that side and that side was for another side, but that's okay. I think that's adorable. Let's go ahead and let's ink it up. That's why we, a lot of the reasons why we ink the edges is because it kind of blends things in nicely. Get this to stick down really well.
Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, you guys, isn't that beautiful? That's absolutely beautiful. Let's just stick just a little bit better down here. So what are we going to do with this side? I think we should stamp a little bit. I think we should um, maybe use this stamp. I really, really like that. I'm not sure if we should use the black or the dark brown. Let's see here. That's pretty. Oh my goodness, that's pretty. Oh my. My, my, my. I think I'd like some on here as well. That looks beautiful, doesn't it? Went on a little bit on the corner. There we go. Lovely. Um, I don't think I want any on this side. No, I don't. All right. Let's now think about putting a little bit of decoration on it. Um, I couldn't remember what this stuff was called in one of my videos. I remember today. <laughs> it's cheese gloss. <laughs> I just couldn't remember it at all that one day until after the video, then I could remember. It's really pretty on there like that. Um, a little bit of lace maybe? Okay, let's first get this down. And I think we better put that down with some fabric tack. And I'm just going to put it a little bit around the edge and then just a little bit on this corner because that's how I'd like it to be right there just like that and I just need to push it down just a little bit that's really pretty Oh my, I love that look. All right, I like to turn it upside down because then I can see better. And it will just kind of fray on its own. You don't have to worry about it being such a straight cut. It'll work itself into uh, looking more worn all by itself. I really just think I'm just going to put some pieces down here. I don't know what it is about this stuff that I really, really like it. I don't know if I really want it on here. It's pretty heavy. I do really like the um, this lace. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe down the side. Oh, I like that. Oh, that's just falling apart. That's okay. Just want a few little pieces anyway. So let's put that pink lace right down the side. Just like that. Just like this. Yes, now I just need a tiny bit more glue right here at the bottom. Okay, got some glue on my hands. I need a paper towel to get that off. All right, now how are we looking? I really like that. I do. That's very pretty. How about if we um, 
<laughs> wipe and glue off. So we put a little bit of this on there. I kind of like these pieces. Get it up to where you can see it. I'll just put it on there. I think that might work better. Maybe right here. That's nice. Now what else would we like to put on there? Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that maybe there's a piece of doily. You need to do a stamp of some sort. Um, I'll actually do a some kind of stamp here. Alrighty, I decided I need to grab my box of stamps, which is right here, and I have different kinds of stamps, ones that I've made myself, and ones that were my father's. Here are some that I've made myself. Let's see if anything here catches our eye. I kind of want it to be, well that one's not bad. That one's already got a, just need to glue the whole thing on there. It's kind of big. What else can I find that I might, we might like here? There's one that looks like this. Is that there? There's another one here. There's a yellow one. Um, blue. Another blue one. Two tone. Another blue one. I don't care if those on that. I'm still looking here. I'm looking and looking. Let's see here. Put this over here for you to see too. There's a little tiny pink one. I kind of like the yellow one. I don't know why. There's some real stamps. There's a duck. Then we have some real stamps sorted as by color. Oh my goodness, look at this one, you guys. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> that is really sweet. 1963. See how pretty that is? Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. This needs to be a little peacher. peach. Mm, I don't know. That's such a pretty stamp. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't know if I've seen that stamp. What else do we have here? Okay, this color. That's nice on there because it brings out that pink lace there. Here's a brown one. Okay, which one do we want? Brown or red? Pink. I'm thinking we're going to go with the pink. I'm not much for... I have to force myself to use color, you guys. I go so much to the muted shades that I really have to tell myself it's okay to use some color. So we're going to use that color. Let me set this right over there. And I'm thinking maybe we want to put um, maybe a circle on it. I've got my 
uh, stamps here. And I've got my clear mounting. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. And then we could put the lines. It has a few lines on it, but not very many. Let's go ahead and put this down. You know, you can just him and haw. Oh, it's on that string of the glue. Him and haw ourselves into doing nothing. And I think I'm going to ink it just a little bit. That softened it just a little. You guys, I didn't notice, but on here, do you see? That's actually kind of a pink. It's, it's a, it's really pretty with this stamp. Is what I'm trying to say. All right, and now we need the black because the post office does this in black. And I'm going to uh, stamp it on something else. Where's my glue book? Just to check it out, so it's not. Yeah, we need. To be, whoa. Kathy, throw that around. Need it to be fairly dark. Yeah. Okay. Couple of stops. Couple of. We'll put it right there. Oh yes, perfect. Perfect. Now we'll put this back, and we'll grab this one, and we will. Put this on. Ah, oh, it's perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Let me let you see that. Yes, very, very nice. Um, I would really like to be able to put some words here. But I'm just not sure if I can get that stamp to do that for me. This is my stamp with the words. I wish it was um, not mounted, but it is what it is. If I only ink a little bit of this, maybe only a little bit. <laughs> this is like, yikes. Okay, we're going to see. Oh, that was perfect. Oh my gosh. That was perfect. Do you see that? That's absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. I love that, that envelope. That is truly beautiful. I'm thinking I might want to darken this up just a tad. You know? A little bright for me. That helped a little bit. That's beautiful. I wonder if we put a number there or something. A little something else there. Hmm. All right, you guys. I grabbed these and I'm, I kind of liked this, but then again, I wasn't sure. And then I grabbed this little piece of lace. I like that piece. I do kind of like that. I wonder if maybe we could just put it like this. It just needs a little something else for me. Almost like these are kind of heavy. Let's see. Got something on there. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Maybe just that. Don't mind that at all. Mm. I know, I'm still like trying to decide what we are doing here. What are we doing? Oh, I gotta like that. That's not bad. That's a piece of the doily. I 
Oh, you guys, I can't decide. I don't like it when I can't decide. It just bugs me. I'm going to put that down here. I am going to put that down right like that. Do like that. Do I want a number on it? I don't know. I think it might take away from this. Maybe I could use some bling on it. Oh, that's bright. Ooh, it's real bright. It might be too much pink. But then you know how I am. I need to I need to start using more colors. What if we just put a few right there? Let's live large. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Let's just live a little large here and put down some pink bling. What guys, what do you guys think of that? Oh, well, you know, I kind of like that. I think that's very pretty. And then we've got our back side opens up like this. We might need to put a closure on here. What are we gonna do for a closure? Hmm, that's another story in itself. Okay, you guys. How about if we use a little bit of the same lace we used in the front? And we used a little more of the pink that we used in the front. And then we did go ahead and use that piece that I thought we might use in the front. But we'll use it in the back instead. Um, I think that might look nice. Let's go ahead and get that on here. Oops, I'm going to make it so you can see too. Huh? Oh my. <laughs> okay. Turn around because I want that lace to show. And let's put the glue on this part. it like this. What do we think of that? I like that. Now, you know about the Velcro circles. So we're going to put two circles together and cut it, oops, cut it in half. We don't need all of it. <laughs> it's stuck to the scissors. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it on here. And then I'm going to shut it. And voila. It closes. I love those things. Okay, that's quite beautiful, don't you think? I think that's beautiful. I am so glad you've joined me today for our crafty together, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.